You don't have a closing problem. You have a process problem. Do you have a defined sales process? Do you know how to make the sale you're trying to make right now? Can you explain that process to your prospect? Because chances are, if you're really on the cutting edge of things, if you're really demonstrating your value as a trusted advisor, you're going to be telling them about something they don't know anything about. You're going to be showing them a solution to a problem that they don't even know they have yet. I want you to think for a second about how impressive of a proposition that could be, but we'll get to that at another time. You are guiding someone through a process that they are unfamiliar with. Are you at least familiar with it? If you don't know the steps it takes, if you don't know the people who need to be involved, if you don't need to, if you don't know how long it's going to take, how on earth are you going to make the sale? Look, you don't need to have a 19 step definition for everything that you're going to need to do over the next couple of months or a couple of weeks, but you should have a pretty darn good idea of what it's going to take. And when you have a good idea of what it's going to take, not only can you stay in control of the meeting or the interaction you're having right now, but you will be able to ask for the next step when it's appropriate. So many sales processes get, just get, get hung up in these, these follow-up loops. Oh, I had a great conversation with that prospect. Okay, cool. What's next? Uh, I didn't ask. Oh, I got to follow up with that. Yeah, I'm going to follow up. What happens when you say you have to follow up? It basically means that you're starting over from scratch because you didn't take care of the opportunity when you had it in front of you and ask for that next step while you had that person's current attention. Know where you need to go. Know where you are and know how to get there. Think about this stuff before you get going. The whole process becomes a whole lot smoother and you end up speeding sales processes up because you're not slowing buying processes down. Your selling process is going to be different from your prospect's buying process. You will not be able to create any additional urgency on their part, but you will be able to avoid slowing things down.